into uh, the equities market in a short while, but let's uh, uh, recap the market uh, for you, in, in particular the FX market, bring that into the conversation. $2 billion was the total turnover at the investors and exporters window last week. Significant portion of that figure, $2 billion was traded, but 99% of that was done within the 360 and 369 narrow dollar relationship band. Or the rest of the transaction, just about 1% or less than that, was between 340 and 359 bracket. The foreign reserves declined a little bit further, less than $200 million in the week. But the F forward FX market is where uh, you may need to pay more attention to the forward pressure on the, do on the Naira against the dollar. Across all major dated contracts, one month FX transaction, the Naira lost 0.36% on the dollar. On the three month FX transactions, uh, contract, the Naira was down 0.71%. On a six-month FX contract, the Naira was down 0.90%. On a one-year FX contract, the Naira was priced a negative 1.53%. That brings you, what does it mean? That means that in one year from now, the forward FX Naira will be bought at 409.74 against the U.S. dollar in the next 365 days. That's what the FS contract. And that tells you what pressure is building on the Naira against the dollar, and we expect uh, part of the conversation around that on uh, Monday, Tuesday next week, when the MPC meets for the second to the last time in 2018. That's one big story before the Nigeria's central bank. That'll be a big story. Let's uh, get a bit more sense into the falling, falling stock market uh, that we had last week, more than 600 billion. We've seen the numbers uh, in the water. Romo Sele Aziba is one of the investment analysts and his life to us from Afroinvest, really. And he's uh, joining us from the stock exchange where our downtown studios is located. Romo Sele, good morning. It's good to have you on the show. Good morning, boss, and thank you for having me. Thank you. Last week was a falling knife, and we tried to hold it, and the knife got the market, got our hands damaged. Yes or no? Uh, yes, essentially, uh, we saw the markets continue no, no, don't, to Don't get scared slide, with my analogy. Uh, uh, last week. You seem scared, I mean... isn't it? About the falling <laughs> knife. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, don't it's, don't it's, mind me. I just heard. Uh, Maybe that it's, was a good analogy, it's, but it looks like you were scared about holding a phone yes, in it's, 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 I don't have any expertise <laughs> in, in, in that kind of, no, it's been uh, quite of, of game, yes. <laughs> yes, I don't know how to, uh, except juggling a few balls here and there. Holding a falling knife or holding a snake, a live snake, is not one of my pastimes. I would have watched it on National Geographic channel. Uh, but, but again, <laughs> let's talk about this on, on channels where this comes <laughs> first. So, uh, how did we arrive at this very massive down... Uh, downside, five percent in just one week. Yes, um, I mean last week as well. We recorded one of the single largest losses that has been recorded on 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 a daily uh, on a daily basis, about three point five percent. Last time we had that was was about eight months ago, thereabouts. So we we've seen investors continue to sell off in the market. Uh, Considering the generally bearish sentiment towards frontier markets uh, on a global scale and then streamlining this down to Nigeria, there have been a lot of concerns with regards to political uncertainty, which has also weighed on um, investor sentiment in, 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 in the market. And I mean, looking at the performance of the economy, yes, GDP has remained positive. Macroeconomic indicators have remained quite quite strong. I mean, external reserves still at high levels owing to higher oil prices uh, uh, and increased production as well. But it seems like sentiment towards our market still remains uh, quite bearish. As we saw uh, last week, we saw quite a number of market bellwethers who have sound fundamentals uh, fall to yellow prices. Uh, 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 during the week as the sell-offs were sustained. Uh, what are investors scared of when we say the political environment? We're going to have an election next year in February. There's no doubt about that. Either the incumbent continues or we have a new set of 
uh, economic managers in place depending on what the electorate decides at the polls. So, uh, it's going to be another morning after. Sun will shine, rain will fall by February next year. That's my prediction. I know that for sure. At least today it's going to rain, it's going to be sunshine. So, why is this uh, concern so much about the political circuit such that uh, investors took almost uh, uh, 700 billion off the market street in just one week? You know, from an investor's point of view, so with regards to the political environment here, now even going beyond uh, the perception of the individual capacities of the individuals who will be running for office, the mere fact that there are uncertainties that still linger in, in, in the economy is one of the key things that, that, that has pressured investor sentiment because the one thing that investors... Uh, 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 try to stay away from is uncertainty, which is which is a key deterrent to to, to performance, and that is what we've seen uh, uh, play out in 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 the market. There are still uncertainties as regards what the uh, economic policy direction will be in the event of a continuation of the current administrator. Or, an, or, or, or what policies we might see in the event that we have a new administration uh, uh, coming. So putting all this uh, uh, together have been the factors that investors have sort of been, been looking at. And currently, there's still no clear direction as to uh, what, dire or, or, or what direction uh, these uh, uh, could be going, which has also weighed on sentiment uh, in, in the market. But I mean, if you recall back in in 2015 we also even though market performance was already dampened due to some other external factors uh following the conclusion of the of the elections uh we had a, a period of, of rally in the markets that was even popularly termed the the buhari uh rally thereabout so it just showed that some sort of calm had returned to the market and we expect that this could also happen uh following the conclusion of the elections next year Okay, if this is becoming a pattern of uh, election comes, uh, things go down. After the elections, we hit uh, 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 a takeoff button or we go much into higher altitude. Uh, but again, this damage in the market, are there opportunities? Uh, is there any silver lining despite this? Uh, any rainbow somewhere? Definitely, definitely. Um, like I mentioned earlier, last week we saw some of the market bellwethers touch uh, yellow prices and we saw that trigger some buy sentiment uh, in, 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 in the markets, even though sell pressures um, still lingered. So looking at stocks like uh, the tier one banks or the likes of GT, uh, Zenith, uh, 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 Guarantee and, and, and even Access, uh, you can see that they falling to to significantly lower prices relative to historical trading patterns. And when you juxtapose this with their current uh, performance in terms of, of, of their numbers, you can see that the current trading prices are not necessarily reflective of, 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 of the fundamentals of these companies. And this is one of the reasons why we believe uh, there are opportunities there in the market for investors to take advantage of. Although we recommend that uh, for an investor who is coming into the market now, uh, you have uh, at least a minimum of, of a year's investment uh, um, horizon. Uh, I mean, within this period, we expect that the political concerns uh, should have significantly, significantly reduced. Then we might actually start to see investors uh, trading based on the actual performance of, 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 of these companies. What's your take, uh, you folks at Afrinvest, are uh, you guys adjusting your bear, your bear, uh, your bear, your bull, or best case scenario for the market, looking at this current uh, very choppy nature of, of the stock market? Well, I mean, as, as, as we get closer to, to the end of the year, we'll still be looking at our, our, our projections. I mean, they were based on, uh, the projections we made were based on our expectations for, for the market. Even though we view that investor sentiment could be largely uh, weighed upon by the political uncertainties and the issues in, in, in the global markets, uh, we had a projection that suggested the market could close um, in the red, and we still believe that there's an opportunity 
that we, we might start to see some some gains uh, uh, possibly later in the year even though this this still remains largely speculative as we believe that with the reduced uh, prices that, that we've seen in the market uh, the current attractive valuation in the market could potentially spur some some buying activity which might somewhat lift market performance but i mean it definitely there's, there's we, we don't expect to see the sort of gains that were recorded in in in, in the market last year or even earlier in the year do you think the market is currently oversold um, do you think so do yes i mean market? looking at the market from a technical from a from a from a technical analysis uh, point of view, you, looking at a relative strength index, for instance, which me uh, measures m uh, momentum uh, in the market to sort of determine a period when market is oversold or, or when it's overbought. Uh, markets RSI has remained uh, below 30, which is in the oversold region, which continues to show that the market is currently uh, in a position for a rebound, but that would be under normal circumstances. Now we have other external factors that are currently dampening uh, uh, market sentiment. But in terms of the performance that we're seeing in the market and pricing of some of the stocks, uh, we can say that uh, the market is somewhat oversold. I mean, even in terms of um, comparing uh, performance of our, our pricing of our market relative to other African markets with a uh, P ratio of about 15 times, which is significantly lower than an average of about 20 from other African markets, looking at South Africa, uh, Egypt, Kenya, and, uh, and the like. It shows that even in this uh, frontier market space, there's still that, there's a pricing opportunity for investors to take advantage of. What would you consider as a possible catalyst for this market, if likely, if anything, before the elections? Will there be a change of heart if the emerging markets route has hit the bottom, as some folks are saying on the global news channels this morning by analysts, do you think this could be a Philip, uh, there could be a tonic, as it were, for our market here? Well, n not necessarily uh, for us. Any gains that we expect to see till the till the end of the year would largely be based on speculative trading. Um, so investors just trying to come in to take quick advantage of of the lower valuations that that we're seeing in 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 the market, and then maybe have like a week or or, or two week investor uh, investment horizon. But I mean, looking at it from point of view of the foreign players. Even though we know there there are concerns as regards uh, stability in the polity, we, there, there are still some few foreign uh, players who are still taking advantage of of the pricing uh, in the market. So purely on a on a pricing basis, in comparison to other uh, uh, emerging and frontier markets, we could see this somewhat trigger. Uh, um, a positive sentiment in, in 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 the market but i mean we still note that with the adopt increasing adoption of hawkish um monetary policy from developed uh, systemically important central banks uh, this could further spur uh, uh, capital flight from 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 emerging markets uh, very very interesting uh, thank you very much a very uh, nice conversation with you, uh, Ermo Selia Ziba. Thank you very much and uh, have a very great week there on Market Street, one of the investment analysts at uh, Afrinvest. Uh, let's come back after the break. We've got trader money, then there is market money, then there is farmer's money. There's money for you, whatever you want. It's called money, money, money. Let's follow the money after the break. <laughs>